I first got into record collecting uh, when my grandparents bought me a record player. You know, got home, they took me to their garage and brought out this big old box. And they opened it, and uh, sure enough, it was all 45s they collected from whenever they were uh, teenagers back in the 60s. Stuff like James Brown, Otis Redding, you name it. I fell in love with the music instantly. Getting more into it, I wanted, I wanted to develop a better ear for harmony and singing because I really had no experience. Um, so I put out a Craigslist ad and uh, got a message response back from an older gentleman by the name of George Valley out of Brooklyn, New York. When I met this guy at first, I'm thinking to myself, hey, this, this could be something. And we eventually started up our own group, Johnny and the Romantics. The times we had singing and practicing together, it was definitely uh, some of the best times of my early teenage years. Doo-wop music uh, is an art form. We're going to go way back to about 1955-56. There were some guys standing on the corner that were much older than me in their 20s. and I was eight years old and I, I had heard the song by Frankie Lyman and the teenagers, Why the Fools Fall in Love. And I just started belting it out and it surprised uh, them and they said, oh my God, let this kid come in here and sing. That's where I got my first taste of doo-wops and uh, immediately became, you know, addicted to it. I loved it. The Meridians uh, started when I moved to Brooklyn. On the street corner, there was this group. Walk two blocks and on another street corner, another group. Go underneath the BQE, Brooklyn Queens Expressway. And uh, that's what we looked for, you know, uh, is the echo, subways or hallways where we could get a good echo. This is a, a reproduction of the original recording of Blame My Heart. And uh, the actual original, would be selling for about $600 now for one, one copy of it. Fortunately, an ad was run on Craigslist and uh, I met a young man by the name of Johnny uh, who was only 18 years of age. And it blew me away that this, this guy at 18 years of age knew more doo-wops than I knew. I gotta keep this music alive, man. It's, it's, it's sad to say, but it surely is a dying art form. There's an appreciation you gotta have for the music of the past, and I'm lucky enough to have that. I just wish more kids my age and future generations to come would, you know, appreciate the music and understand it, and not necessarily follow everything that's happening today, but maybe take a look back and see, you know, how it all started, the roots. What's your name? Do I spend the chips with you? It's so hard to find a personality with charms like yours for me. Ooh, 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 ooh. What's your name? What's your name? Shoo-ba-doo-ba-ba-da. Not bad. 
that how they used to do it on the streets? That's about <laughs> it. On the corner, Johnny yeah. and Popsy. Someone's got to keep it alive. And we will, my brother. We will. We will. Where?